Productivity is a huge part of my life. I am a designer. I also own a design agency. Roughly just me and my wife working on it now where we outsource work with other people. But being organized and productive is a huge part of maintaining the business, making sure the bills are paid, making sure that we're making money, getting YouTube content out to you on time and working with different brands. And I'm super excited today because I get to talk to you about some nerdy productivity satisfying things that you can do inside of an app that you may not have heard called Notion who is sponsoring this video. So in this video, I'm going to be covering what is Notion, why it is the best productivity app for designers, how you can use it no matter what scale you are, and the benefits I found from using it with me and my wife and other people who may later come on the team and work with us. Okay, so the first thing is what is Notion? Notion is an app that is designed to make you more productive, but it doesn't hold you back. It could be as simple or as complicated as you like. The main premise of Notion are pages. So these pages are basically inception. You can have one page and then you can keep adding pages within that page to create databases and basically have your own system of doing things inside of that. It's roughly like a normal productivity app, but it allows you to do so much more. So I'm going to explain to you how I personally use it. Okay, let's start off inside my work dashboard. So as you can see, it's dark. You can make it light or dark. I'm going to make it dark for the video to help your eyes. What you can see here on the left is a bunch of like areas that I've created. I've got this private area for different things like recipes. I've got a work dashboard and then I've got loads of other things like a web inbox, YouTube video database, Instagram content. Now specifically in this video, I'm going to show you how I basically organize and become productive in my design business. Whether you're a freelancer or an agency or work somewhere else, it's always good to have Notion no matter where you are or what business you're in because it helps you remain productive. So as you can see here, this is my work dashboard. It looks kind of strange, but what you see going on at first is just a cover page which is here I've got a cover to make it look pretty an icon which helps me identify what's going on and then also a to-do list so I've got a to-do list here with priority and status I've got my client work my YouTube and um, my misc and online store stuff I've got a calendar down here I've also got stuff down there like crazy ideas um, that I can pull up. And I created this all from scratch, this dashboard here, because this is what I need. So for instance, if I'm working in my design projects, I've got a client project test page. And each of these are pages. Anything that I can click on here is basically a page. And when I click on it, it will take me to a new page. If I go into my branding projects over here, you can see that I've got a couple of ones here. I've had to exclude some of the other branding projects that I do simply because they've got confidential things in there with my clients that I'm working with now. But here's some ones that I can show you. So there's one here called Qualify Tutor. The great thing about Notion is that when you click on something like this and you open it up as a page, you can see there's a lot of stuff going on and it looks daunting, but all it is, it's like flicking through a file system and knowing where you are all the time. So I have these like pages for my clients. You can see here, I've got logo iterations. You might not be able to see it very clearly there, so I'll turn it to white. So I've got the title, I've got things in here that I've created and it looks pretty bare bones. But as I sort of go down here, you can see I've linked a page here, which is my design system. And this is called the QT design system, the qualified tutors. And in here, you've basically got all of the logos, the typography and the color. Now, the great thing about this for me is that this was a template and Notion runs heavily on templates. You can either create your own template or you can download other people's templates. If I was to show you here, you just go down to templates there and you've got design templates. So you've got a roadmap and you can see how they're used. You can see the roadmap, it shows you exactly everything that you can use. You've got user research, design tasks. So what you need to do, for instance, they've given you examples here like you know, standard typography or standardize the typography, uh, export logos. And when you click on that, which is a task, it shows you a status, a priority, the date created, the due date, and you can go down here and see all of these. And this is basically just showing you what the template does. Meeting notes, 
and design system, which is what I used. So what I did was I just used this template. And if I go on to Qualified Tutor, I've changed everything for Qualified Tutor. The great thing about this is that it's allowed me to free up time. So I just have to put all of my work in here and I can share this with whoever I want, just at the top right. And if I go down here, you can see you can download the main logos. You can also see the website design that I created on a splashback. If I go to the typography, I've got my typography all referenced here with the licensing. So they can all see this and they can download the typography or icon as well. It's basically like a miniature style guide. And over here, again, you've got colors where it shows you the color, secondary colors, and it's all the colors for this project. If I go back to my work dashboard, you see everything that I use every day. And a lot of this is YouTube stuff. So I do have a lot of like client work and things like that that's going on, but I use this a lot for YouTube. So if I click on here, for instance, my YouTube video database, it shows me all the videos that I've got and all the videos that I've made or researching. Uh, in here, it actually doesn't show you all the videos that I've done because I've got this filter on it and you can see all the videos that I've published. And this is like a Trello board, but I can change the way that we see it. So I can view a high priority one and I can create different views. I can go back to my default view where it shows you all of the information inside of here. Another way that I use Notion is by my portfolio, which is again, I've just linked it on my dashboard here, which is portfolio editing. And if I'm going to go to one like scroller box that I'm just starting, I have all my things put in here. Uh, I click on it, it opens up a page and it basically shows me the work that I've done for scroller, the images that I needed. And I can edit this, change it, add tags, put dates and times in by using this thing called add property. I can add a property such as a number, a date, a multi-select, a person. So if I wanted, for instance, if I added Naomi to this, she would get an invite to basically do something on this Notion page. So if there was a task or something, you can get them to do that on the page. On tags, I can show you whether it's branding, lettering, or logo. So it's branding and logo. So I can now search in here for whatever I want. So logo, and it'll bring up things with logo or branding. I've got my hand lettering one here for my portfolio again, which is what I created. And I can just add work there or hand lettering work. And I've got my work there that I did for Adobe. And I can open this up as a full page and have a look and add properties and things like that. But a big part of being a designer and owning a business is keeping tracks of invoicing and everything else, which is again, my wife, Naomi, actually does that. And of course, I can't show you personally what it is, but we've got something called invoicing notes down here where Naomi will go ahead and put all the invoicing for like, you know, design work, sponsors, any work that's coming up, and she'll have all of the information inside of that. So let's say you wanted to get started using Notion, but all of that information has absolutely blasted your mind because there's so much going on. Well, we can start really simply. All you need to do is go to templates. And again, I've shown you this before. And depending on what you wanna do, whether it's a personal Notion, or you want to do something like you know a recipe. For instance, I've even got a recipe one in my private Notion here where I can take all my recipes from the internet, gives me the URL and it gives me all the ingredients and everything that I need and all the images as well. But let's pick a template for a to-do list or a roadmap. So a design roadmap of what you need to do. So if you wanted to give someone something or a user research database, design tasks, let's create a design task. So we'll press use this template and it will pop up down here in private. Now you've got this Kanban board, which shows you that you can move this around, but you don't have to have it like that. You can sort it by all of these, by all tasks, and it'll show you every task that you've got. So let's create a new task in here, such as export logos. That's always a good one. We can create a new task, such as finish style guide. And there we go, we've got a task right there. And all of these are in a database. So this means that you can have all the information given to you. For instance, if I had a due date, I can actually go ahead and sort it by due dates. So this will show me now in a calendar form 
the due dates of all of these tasks. I can add a status, so I can say not started, and then it's in progress, or I can say, you know, standardized is complete. And I can assign this to me or Naomi or whatever, and you can organize it by assigning people. There is so much stuff that you can do in Notion. So what I would suggest to do is to start off with a task list. And when you start off with the task list, every task, you can add your own properties. So whenever I click on one, it opens up as a page and you can write down things in here or add a table in here. So you can go micro tasks and you can say color artwork. And instead of tags, you can have a deadline for that with a time or you can put files in there. So although I've been using Notion for a few months now, I still don't use it to its full potential. And that could just simply be because Obviously, we don't need to use it to its full potential. We use it very simply for to-do lists, putting my design tasks in there. But something I also personally use it for is this thing called a web inbox. So a web inbox is actually a place for me to take information online and put it into Notion so I can keep it and watch it later. So for instance, if I go to my website, as you can see here, I've got this uh, blog that I've set up here so you can see the iPad, I can just go ahead, click on that blog post. And if I like it, I've got this little button here at the top right. And I can put it in to my web inbox, iPad Pro for designers, and it will pop up in here with all the information and the images once it all loads in. And you can read it later, add notes and do whatever you want. So it's a way of really going in to detail with what you've learned or seen online. Using my work dashboard and design systems such as the QT one that I've just previewed to you here, allow me to create work, upload it, share it with clients very quickly. So if you'd like to learn more about Notion, click the link down below. I know some of you will be like, wow, this, this app does a lot. Well, it's actually free for you if you want to try it. There's of course limitations on the free one, but go ahead and try it out. And then if you like it, you can get the paid version, which gives you unlimited boxes and unlimited pages that you can use. Thank you Notion for making this video happen. It is really cool and I enjoy it a lot. If you did enjoy this video, and if you stuck to the end, remember to press that red subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video of mine when it comes out. I've got a lot more to talk about in the productivity space, especially on how I use Notion. So if you'd like to learn more, let me know so I can do another video for you in the future for Notion on how you can scale your design business with productivity. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.